You stabbed me? Ba 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 Stella, Stella. <laughs> Bullet Train, down by the same people who did... Brought to you by the people who gave you Deadpool. Um, yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, I believe the same writer, same director. Uh, Bullet Train, as the plot says, five assassins aboard a fascinating Bullet Train uh, find uh, out their missions have something in common. Um, look, this is a fun movie. If you want something... Not comic booky, although it is based off a book. But if you want something that's not a comic book movie, but has the tone of like something like a Deadpool, like maybe a, kind of a kicky, not really kick ass, but something something Kingsman a little bit. But Deadpool's really what this kind of feels like. A lot of crass humor, a lot of swearing, a lot of blood and guts. Uh, oh, but also done in the vein of this Guy Ritchie. It's like a mix of a uh, it's like the mix of a Guy Ritchie film, a comic Deadpool. Uh, there's a little bit of Knives Out in there because uh, there's a bit of a heist, but not really. Uh, Who done it? Going on there. Uh, the story basically, as it says, five assassins. Um, the Brad Pitt actually isn't an assassin in this. He, there are five assassins. He's actually not one of the assassins. He's just a, as he puts it, he's a grabber, a snatcher. He's a pick up and snatch, grab and go kind of guy. And he's basically tasked with, getting, as you see in the trailer, getting a case. Well, there's more to go deal with this case in the actual story of what's going on here. And there's a bunch of other characters mixed up involved with it. Uh, everyone in this, in this cast is fantastic. Just great. Uh, Joey King plays Prince, who is the, um, you see it obviously, is the young girl um, in the trailer. She's, uh, there. There's a lot of main players, surprisingly. She is a main player in the movie. Uh, Brian Tyler Henry and uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson are main players. Tangerine and Lemon, which is our code names. Uh, the you know the Michael Shannon we know is the White Death uh, or the White Death. He's the bat, like the big honcho of the guy you see in the trailer at the end there. Um, uh, Hiroki, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Hiroyuki Sanada uh, and. Um, Oh, God, where is it? Uh, where is the other guy? Uh, uh, no, Logan Lerman? No. Wait, really? Really? Logan Lerman was the son? No. Maybe it's just a different Logan Lerman. Um, but um, where's the guy who plays? Uh, oh, there he is. Uh, and Andrew Coy, Kim Mori. They're, uh, they're main player, inter players in the movie. They. This is a very balanced out cast. Save for, like, one or two characters. Um, I didn't actually know that was Zazzy Beat in the trailer that you see uh, where she's fighting Brad Pitt. And she says, it's a gonna sting, bitch! Like, that's Zazzy Beats. I didn't know that. Um, Bad Bunny, who plays Wolf. Uh, the Wolf. Uh, the guy who attacks them. is like, dude, I don't even know you! That guy. Um, uh, Sandra Bullock is the voice. Uh, is his handler. Uh, Maria. Yeah, they're all, except for, like, a couple of them, they're all given surprisingly equal screen time. Uh, and they're all really enjoyable in their own way. Uh, the banter between... I, me and my girlfriend could have just sat there and watched an entire movie about Tangerine and Lemon. They are freaking awesome. Uh, Brian Tyler, Tyler Henry just has this thing about <laughs> the Tangerine, which keeps going on through the film. And I love the fact, too, that we... It's clear. Brian, Brian Tyler Henry is a large dude. He's a little bit of a, he's a heavier set dude. I love the fact that in the three films I've seen him in, like the three big films I've seen him in, Godzilla vs. Kong, The Eternals, and this, they don't shy away with giving like giving him action scenes. And seriously, I mean, obviously there's a lot of special effects going when he's playing Fostos in The Eternals, but dude, no. The dude can do it. The dude's a heavy set dude doing action sequences. That just makes me smile because he's just got this lovable personality to him <laughs> when he's playing someone who's really likable. And you know, your heart goes out to him. He's like, just has is a sweetheart of a person, like Fastos is. Or when he's playing a very likable kind of dick, but he's a he's a hitman. <clears throat> he's an assassin, like Lemon is. He, I just like seeing him. And Alan Taylor Johnson, man, I am loving more and more what this guy's doing with his career. He is one of just you can't take your eyes off him while he's on um, on screen, and like he just has the same. He has a bunch of <laughs> his dialogue with him and Brad Pitt and uh, Brian Tyler Tyler Henry is just phenomenal. 
you buy into the story of uh, Hira of uh, the Elder, played by Sonata, and Andrew Ko- Koji. Um, definitely, especially what's going on with them. Um, Joe, uh, Joey King. Joey King is you un- uh, is one of the most unique characters in this movie because you are you are very much enjoying watching her because you can't at least for me you can't wait to see her get her comeuppance because she is also an assassin on the train she's one of the assassins um and she plays it and there's a line later on I was like the narcissism on this kid like no joke this character is so likably unlikable after a while that you can't and so smug and arrogant that you cannot wait to see her get her get what's coming to her now does she i'm not going to spoil that i will say this not everyone makes it off that train spoilers but i think you could pretty much uh, guess that but the people who do make it off are a the pe- mostly the people you want to see get make it off but b there's a surprise that comes with that near the end i'm like okay did this happen this person, something could have happened here, and sure enough, when it ha- when it when it cut, like there's a there's a not a mid cred scene because it happens like ten seconds after this movie ends, but it, but it kind of is. It's one of those to go to the guy Ritchie thing. It's like ten minutes earlier or an hour earlier kind of thing, and they do that throughout the film, uh, and it goes to show you how something ended up playing out. And I'm just like, yeah, I was right. Uh. Uh, it, it's all the action is visceral. Oh my god! They, they, like some of that gore they get away with is pretty great, uh, and you can tell this is someone who directed Deadpool. <laughs> oh man, uh, it's it's. Yeah, I was laughing my ass off through a lot of it. A great soundtrack too, mostly in um, Jap- mostly in Japanese, but still great soundtrack. Um, I will if the, if I have a complaint, and it, and any complaint I have is uh, minimal. It's a minimal complaint, but still valid. Uh, I'll say the movie is probably a little long. At two hours and nine, what was it? Two hours and... Ooh, I was close. Two hours and six minutes. It does feel like it drags on just a little bit at points. You could probably shaved off, I don't know, uh, five minutes, and it probably would have flowed better. I can probably even, if I had to pick up moments. There's a couple cameos in the film, too, that are great. Uh, one particularly where it's just like, of course they had him in there because they would leech. Uh, there's another one that, it, it, I'm not going to say who it is, but does play a factor in the, well, both play a factor for the plot, but one actually has a relevant reason to be there, um, in terms of helping out a character. But the other issue I did have with the movie is that Brad Pitt is framed as our lead. He is framed as our lead. And by all accounts, he is the lead. But there's so many people in this movie that are also getting equal share, uh, like equal time here, that it does feel like we don't spend enough time with him, and that we're just focusing on everyone else's plots. But I say that knowing that in order for it for these characters to actually get a um, or have a solid amount of screen time, they do need to kind of you know, and for those stories to play out the way they do. They do need to share enough, have their own respective screen time on the on the in the film. So I don't know if I would say it need, needed more Brad Pitt so much as I think Brad Pitt just needed. I think it just needed to be clear that while Brad Pitt is technically your lead, you needed to maybe just have him a bit more at the forefront now and then. But that's a minor. Qu- it really is a minor qu- uh, complaint. It, it is a minor complaint. Like I said, it's a little long. For what the it, like, it seems to drag a little bit at points. Uh, not drag even. They tend to repeat a little bit now and then. But um, overall, I will say that I I had a blast this film. This is a very fun, enjoyable film. Uh, honestly, there's nothing coming out next week. I might be me and my girlfriend considered actually going to. Um, might actually consider going to the uh, going to see this again, but I think what we're actually going to do is um, go and uh, see like Top Gun next week or something like that. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, yeah, I highly recommend this film. This is a blast. It's a good way to end the summer out too. One last good like straight action film. 
because what we got coming out this uh, next couple of weeks, we got nothing really major coming out this week. That's why we're probably going to see Top Gun or something. Because uh, she hasn't seen it. Or everything ever all the once if we can get a screen. Uh, but the Beast, I do want to see the Beast. I'll probably see The Invitation, that vampire film coming out. And 3,000 Years Along, I want to see that. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to be a pretty mild August. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks for the next one.